In this video, I'd like to go over sampling distribution and what it means to be a sampling distribution of a statistic. As I've already mentioned, sampling distributions, when I learned statistics, was one of the most complicated ideas for me to wrap my head around, but I think I'm going to approach it similar to a way that helped me, and that is using simulations. So here I am in StatCrunch, and you can follow along if you want. You can pause the video and follow along. I'm going to click on Applets and go down to Sampling Distributions. Now what this is going to do is I get to decide what distribution I want a population to be. So I'm just going to click on a continuous custom. It doesn't matter what it is. And I'm going to have a statistic. What statistics do I want to calculate from that population? I want to calculate the mean. And let's also calculate the standard deviation. And I'm just going to hit Compute. So on this page, let's just give a brief overview here. Up top is the population. And notice it would be a histogram, but there's nothing here. So I'm going to just start clicking on places. And I'm creating, I'm creating a distribution for my population. So here is the distribution. I'm just randomly, it doesn't even matter. If you want to just click up here, if you're following along, this is what my distribution looks like for my population. So 30, it looks like, is has this many values. Uh, this could be, oh, I don't know, test scores, uh, questions correct on an exam. It could be any other metric. I don't know what we're measuring here, but a certain percentage or certain frequency had 30. Here, this frequency, this percentage had 40 and so forth. So it's very scattered. There's no bell shape. It's not skewed right. It's just very random. We can here uh, look to the right and see that the mean of this population is 25 approximately, the median is approximately 25, and the standard deviation is approximately 14.5. What I want to do is to, to randomly select some samples from this population. And I want my sample size, it doesn't really matter, but let's do 10 because that's going to give us a little bit of space to describe what's going to happen here once I click these buttons up top. So when I click one time, and I'm not going to yet, what's going to happen is, in this box, I'm going to see things dropping down from the population. And that means what's happening is StackCrunch is randomly selecting 10 observations from the population, and it's going to plot them here. And then what's going to happen is, from those 10 observations that were randomly selected, StackCrunch is going to calculate the mean and plot that on this third spot, and then it's also going to calculate the standard deviation of those 10 values and plot that here. So let's just click on one time. You can see that 10 observations are being randomly selected. Then they're going to find the mean, and they're going to plot the mean and plot the standard deviation. So here is the 10 observations. I don't necessarily, I mean, it looks like you know, 21 was selected once. Uh, I don't know if this is 38. Not sure what that is, but that was selected once. These are the 10 samples. This is the mean of those 10 samples, and this value down here on the bottom is the standard deviation. So I'm going to hit that again, and it's going to calculate it again. It's going to find a new sample of 10 values. It's going to find the mean of that, plot that on the same sample mean distribution and same sample standard deviation. Now if I were to repeat this multiple times, what is going to happen is these bottom two frequency distributions are going to become what are called sampling distributions. So I'm going to click five times and it's going to do it very quickly. It's going to find the mean, find the standard deviation and plot them. Find the mean, find the standard deviation and plot them. If I were to continue this until theoretically I have selected all possible samples from the population, then what I'm going to have down here are two sampling distributions. This would be a sampling distribution of the sample mean this would be a sampling distribution for, a, the samp or for the standard deviation. A sampling distribution is a distribution of all sampling statistics. So I'm going to click five times, one more time. And this is going to build a distribution, and it's a distribution made up of sample means, and this is a distribution made up of sample standard deviations. This is what a sampling distribution is. If I go to look at this, let's look at it one more time from a different perspective. You can see the definition down here. The definition of a sampling distribution, it could be a sampling distribution for any type of statistic, for a mean, for a standard deviation, for a variance, for a proportion. 
but this is the distribution of all values of a calculated statistic. It could be mean, variance, standard deviation, median, minimum, maximum. But it's the distribution of all values of that statistic when all possible samples of the same size n are taken from that population. And we usually see this either in terms of a probability table or a probability histogram. Back on StatCrunch, if I were to flip back here, this is providing it just in terms of a frequency histogram, right? It's giving us a frequency. But if I were to turn this into a relative frequency and turn this sample standard deviation into a relative frequency, that's typically how we see sampling distributions. So illustrating it one more time, here's a population. And what's happening is I am selecting one one sample of randomly selecting 20 observations, so here are my 20 observations if I just click in this box a couple times, and then they're going to find the mean. Let's think about the mean again. It's going to find the mean, and we're going to call this x bar 1. x bar because it's the sample mean from my first sample of 20. If I did that again, took another 20 observations, randomly select 20 observations, I have no idea how many times I'm clicking there, and then I find the mean this would be x bar 2. And here, I don't know what this is. Let's call this, um, we're going to look at the mean, we're going to look at x bar, and we're going to look at the x bar, this one too. And this dot 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 here, if you let me just write mean, this dot 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 means we are going to continue this, theoretically forever. And let's call this um, x to the n, we'll use m, and this one n, because we don't know really how far we're going. But what we're going to do is to take all of these sample means of all possible samples, remember there's all the ones in the middle as well, and we're going to group them together into their own distribution. So we're going to group together. And this, not necessarily group together in terms of finding the mean of those, we'll be doing that shortly, but we're going to group together into its own data value, data set. And this, if I were to look at the distribution of all the means here, this is called a sampling distribution for the sample mean, or for the mean. I could have also easily found the standard deviation or the variance or the minimum or the maximum. So again, a sampling distribution of a statistic is just a distribution made up of a sampling statistic. So it's a distribution of all possible samples and it's all possible samples of a calculated statistic.